How many of you guys love Christmas? Love it. Everybody? Everybody, okay. Pretty much if you don't love Christmas, you're either Mr. Scrooge or the Grinch. But even in the end, they both love Christmas. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about some people who <clears throat> aren't, aren't fortunate enough to be able to have Christmas the way that we have it. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about something that you can do to help that out. So of the 2.2 billion children on the planet, 1 billion of them live in poverty. That's almost half of the children on the planet. And 300 million of these children go to bed hungry every night. That doesn't mean they missed their little midnight snack. They didn't get their ramen noodles before they laid down to go to bed. That means they probably haven't eaten the whole day or maybe even the day before that. As of November 9, 2010, the US and world population clock says that 300 million, 310 million, 668,820 people live in America. So that kind of puts it in perspective. That's almost all of America going to bed hungry every night. An estimated 30,000 children die every day because of malnutrition and disease. That means all they need is just some food and some nutrition. And all of this is according to the Compassion International Poverty Poll that was in 2006. What did I do? Uh, enough Shah in Poverty Facts from September 20, 2010 says that 1.6 billion people, a quarter of humanity, live without electricity. So we freak out when we don't have internet for about 10 minutes, and they're like, ah, what are you gonna do? But they don't, live, they don't have electricity at all. And 1.4 million children die each year from lack of access to safe drinking water and adequate sanitation. That means they have no water, so they're all dying, and all it would take for them to live is just to have some water. So one, one simple solution for you guys is something that all of us in here can do, and it would be amazing that if all of us did it, it would really make a big impact, and that's to give your Christmas to someone less fortunate. Uh, what does that mean? That means make a phone call, send a text, make a visit to uh, your friends, family, relatives, anybody and everybody that would be getting you something for Christmas, and tell them you don't want anything. It sounds a little crazy, but it's, it would make a huge deal. It would make a huge deal, and tell them that instead of giving them giving you gifts for Christmas, spend their money on giving that to feeding the hungry and housing the homeless. Give it to find something that you have a passion for, something that you have a passion to help, a country, a cause, an organization, and uh, put the money towards that instead of getting stuff that you don't want or even. Christmas in America is growing more and more selfish. Again, according to an upshot in poverty around the world from September 20, 2010, the average evangelical Christian, Christian spends about $25 a year on wrapping paper alone. The stuff that you put your gift in, the stuff you put your gift in this and you rip it off and throw it away after you're done. So you're spending $25 on wrapping paper. And they only spend $3.25 to support emissions every year. So if we even if you even just decided to not wrap your gifts for Christmas, you, you could put twenty-five dollars towards something better than that. And the average family in two thousand five spent almost one thousand dollars on Christmas gifts, according to a survey done by the American Research Group entitled Holiday Company. One thousand dollars from every family, if everybody in America did this, we could do some amazing things. We could we could put an end to world hunger and uh, stop flares in America. I'm just going to review. Uh, the stats are real. It's all facts. It's, uh, it's real. It's really going on. It's hard for us Americans to believe that because we're spoiled. We're so spoiled. We don't know what's going on elsewhere in the world. But it's real. People really do live in poverty. And you can do something about it. However cheesy that sounds, it's true can make an impact on the world. And I just want to challenge you guys to at least uh, keep this in your mind, at least consider giving away your Christmas, or at least giving a little bit of it to Poppy. Thank you.